my channel today is a making day we are i wanted to show you all the things that we're going to make for christmas so if you're new here every year i um me and my family make hampers for each other for the first of december and this year it is my turn to make one so i wanted to show you how i'm wrapping it this year i'll show you a few of the bits that are going inside but i can't show you too much because I'm really hoping this video has gone up before they've got it. But this year I've decided to put it in a big white box. So these boxes are from Ikea. And I'm going to show you what my plan is to do with it. I've had this plan in my head, honestly. I start thinking about Christmas, like, in about May. <laughs> no, about July time. For so, I, I, do, I probably do start thinking about it a little bit before July. But come July I start putting everything in, like... A formulated plan and then I start thinking how to do it what to do I tell Adam what my plan is so that he can help and get on board <laughs> he loves it but this is the first thing I'm gonna show you is how I'm gonna decorate our box for our family hampers Ta -da! that literally just took me two seconds to put together and then I've got this spare bit of card which the kids are clearly gonna love playing with Um, it comes with instructions as well how to put the cardboard box together <laughs> But it's got a lid, which is what I wanted as well. And it's huge, so it should fit everything in. I say that, I haven't got everything out yet to put in. But let me show you how I'm going to decorate right, it. I've got all my boxes together now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put red ribbon on them and make them look like a parcel. So I'm going to do it so that you can still open the lid though. So I'm going to put the ribbon on the lid first and then the ribbon on the box. That's my plan. So if you play Animal Crossing, it's hopefully going to look a little bit like an Animal Crossing parcel. That's my plan. I've got a slightly thicker ribbon for bows. Or I'm, I'm, I don't know what I'm going to do. I need to try and make a bow somehow. But I'm going to use my glue gun to do the ribbon. And I'm going to cut all of the lengths now. and now i'm going to fill them and i just need some packing so we'll use like brown paper packing and then i've got white tissue paper to put over the brown paper just to make it look pretty so i've said i don't want to show you too much but that's kind of what it looks like inside <laughs> just in case people are watching just in case so that's all my hampers done now how beautiful do they look they are just the prettiest thing ever very animal crossing-esque okay so on to my next craft now i am going to make a so i'm going to insert a picture here i went to the white company a little while ago and i found a beautiful star and it absolutely it was just lovely it was absolutely glorious but it was 45 35 or 45 pound and i just thought i looked at it and i thought i could so make that myself 100 percent. so i brought this star from hobby craft for five pound and then i brought these from poundland pound each and i got four of them and i already had the twine so i can't price that but i feel like it was like 50p for a ball of twine and um i am gonna try and make my own and then i will show you to compare
So I personally think this looks better than the one at the White Company and it costs me £8 to make. £8.50. It did take me a while to do, I'm not going to lie, but I was very distracted and I had lots of other things going on as well at the same time. But I think it looks, I don't think it looks like an £8. I think it rivals the white companies. <laughs> now, I really like it. I'm really happy with it. I'm going to make some more and put um, mistletoe in there because I've got some mistletoes to put in as well. And I just think it looks really, really pretty. And I said to Adam, I, this is the kind of thing that I want to make like next year if we get the website up and running and get like, it is up and running already, but I mean like if we add lots more products to it. So this is the kind of thing you can look forward to next year. I'm really happy with it. Obviously I need to do proper production with it though. But yeah, I, I don't know if I'm going to keep it here. <laughs> I might put it somewhere else, but just for now. It's going there and I love it. Right, the next thing that I um, am doing as gifts is a really simple thing. So these candles are from Ikea. They're £1.85. Smell amazing. And we've got what we call, what's called the Cricut. And we can do vinyl. So we're going to put vinyl on them just to make them personalised. So we're going to do like Merry Christmas and then put the names on the back. So I'm going to show you how we print it out now. They look so festive. It's like a lovely tree with Merry Christmas on, and then we personalise them as well. So I'm really happy with these, and it's just a nice little gift that we're able to give with our Cricut machine. And it's nice, something nice and simple, and another little craft that we've enjoyed doing. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. I hope you've enjoyed this little crafty video. So I just want to let you know that once this has gone up tonight, on Wednesday we have got a lovely festive weekend vlog going up, which is obviously the 1st of December. And then after that, on the Thursday, will be Vlogmas. So Vlogmas Day 1 and so on until Christmas. So we're super excited. Thank you so much for watching again and we will see you next time. Bye. done so i personally think this looks better than the one at the white company and it costs me eight pound to make eight, eight pound fifty it did take me a while to do i'm not gonna lie but i was very distracted and i had lots of other things going on as well at the same time but i think it looks i don't think it looks like an eight pound i think it rivals the white companies <laughs> No, I really like it. I'm really happy with it. I'm going to make some more and put um, mistletoe in there because I've got some mistletoes to put in as well. And I just think it looks really, really pretty. And I said to Adam, I, this is the kind of thing that I want to make like next year if we get the website up and running and get like, it is up and running already, but I mean like if we add lots more products to it. So this is the kind of thing you can look forward to next year. I'm really happy with it. Obviously I need to do proper production with it though. But yeah. I, I don't know if I'm going to keep it here. <laughs> I might put it somewhere else, but just for now, it's going there, and I love it.